Yep, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As you can see, it is definitely more official than a whistle. The good doc has finally turned the mean one into Mrs. Dr. Mike TV. All right. Now, I wish that I could have brung you guys along for the journey, but we had a small little intimate gathering with just family members, and uh, we went down to the magistrate here in our uh, city, and of course, you're not allowed to have any recording on the inside. So we went through the process, passed the paperwork, had the magistrate come through and lawfully wed us, had our witnesses and all that stuff sign off for us, and wham, bam, we were probably in and out of there in about 30 minutes tops, right? Ah, that was pretty much it, man. It's, it's the culmination of... A lot of years together. Um, as many of you guys know, I've been with my young lady. And I'm sorry if the reflection's a little tough back there. Let me try to fix it. Hold on. I hope that's a little bit better. If not, we'll fix it. But anyways, guys, a combination of a lot of years together, man. I've known her since my second year of college, her first year of college. Um, so we've kind of been on each other's radar for quite some time, you know? Uh, we officially started dating our senior year. Um, and then after that, it's kind of just been a whirlwind, guys. It's just been up and down. I'm not going to sit there and act as if, you know, we have, we've been the perfect relationship, of course. I mean, long-distance relationships definitely take a toll on a lot of people. Now, I would have probably married her in the Philippines and just made it official there. And we could have been done with it and been married years ago, right? But in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'm a firm believer in trying to build a solid foundation for our relationship and for our life in the United States. I believe this right here, as of right now, is the place <laughs> to get that money. Now, if you had an online job, you know, subsequently, you could still be making the same amount of money. But as of where the current landscape is and what my mind was back then... Bring her to the United States. We build together in the United States. Then after we've built this foundation and created something special here, we can take it back to the Philippines. You know, and I do believe that there are a lot of people who have relationships like that, right? Where they believe that, um, you know, it's better to just, you know, work in the West and spend it in the East, right? Make it in the West, spend it in the East. That'll be the culmination of what I'm trying to put together. I hope I can turn it a little bit this way. Maybe that'll work. But, um... I just like to think, you know, about past relationships between uh, people that I've seen relationships fall apart, right? Um, it doesn't always work out, right? Let's keep it a buck. I'm, I'm not oblivious to that fact, and I don't think any of you guys are as well. I'm not oblivious to the fact that it may not work out for a lot of people or people get into relationships and it doesn't necessarily work out or they get into relationships at younger ages as they develop over time. They realize it wasn't what they wanted and then they divorce later on in life. But I'm not going to sit here and act as if my relationship is any different. But I do like to believe that the fact that I did choose to get married a little bit later on in my life does change my view and or perspective of marriage and what it means to me and what it may mean to other people. That's not to sit here and say, oh, well, your relationship is better because you married later in life. No. But what I am saying is I got a lot of shit out of my system, y'all. <laughs> I was able to live the, I would like to call it the American Philippine dream. Go over there, study abroad, you know, immerse myself in the culture figuratively and literally. I mean, guys, I did it. I did everything that I felt I wanted to do. And I did it throughout my late teens and throughout the majority of my 20s. Right. And at the age of the at the tender, tender young age of 34 years on this earth, ladies and gentlemen, I finally decided to tie the knot. I mean, there's very few things, you know, that I aspire to gain from that single life that I haven't already gotten you feel me so the fact that I've been with my young lady for as long as I have and you know we've kind of just made it happen for us and the fact that again like I said I waited later in life to get married and I tried to get it all out of my system before I got married I kind of feel like that kind of puts me in a position where I'm able to focus a lot of my effort and energy into my relationship right 
wherein I'm not so focused on the outside, right? The challenges, the obstacles, or the others, all right? It's not so much anything that I'm focused on because I've been there, I did that. It's more or less about how can we build this foundation? How can we make it better? How could we become something that is going to be beneficial to ourselves and our families in the years to come? You know, our future family, if we have kids and stuff, what can I do right now and what can we build right now? The foundation we could build right now to make us a better couple, um, husband and wife, in the years to come. Am I perfect? Fuck no. <laughs> Am I still a work in progress? You bet your ass. But you know what? I'm comfortable where I am. You know, I'm not fidgety. I'm not nervous. I'm not, oh my God, what if it don't work out? That's not where my mind is. And I think that that comes with age, man. That comes with the fact that we did put a lot of time into this. That comes into the fact that, you know, I was able to just be myself when I was younger. So when we actually started getting together and we started trying to create something that we would want to be for our future. It was something that we were both involved in that process for. And I just wanted to have this conversation because, you know, now she's Mrs. Dr. Bike TV. And, you know, when you're somebody's husband and shit, you kind of, it, it, it's not, it's really no different for us because in our minds, we were already together because we've already lived together and all that stuff. But when you put a ring on it, right. And she changes her name officially, right. She got the good doc's last name and everything. It it really does. It, it it changes your thought process and your perspective on everything. Like, this is now my wife. This is now what I would probably like to look at as the future mother of my kids. All right. So there's meaning behind that to me. All right. And I do believe that, you know, whenever you focus and you put yourself in a place in a space where in, you would live and die for the people in your life like that, it changes how you are as a man, right? Huh? It's a little bit different when you're dealing with these girls over there on Walking Street, right? Where you're like, man, ain't nobody got no love for these hoes, these bros before hoes and shit. Now you're in a perspective where the woman that you're with is somebody you're willing to do whatever you can for. Not to the point where you're a fucking simp, right? Not to the point where you're over here giving up your happiness to make somebody else happy, but more or less, you're in a position where you're like, I will do whatever I can to make sure this woman is protected and taken care of, and vice versa, she would do the same for me. And that's kind of where we are in our relationship, right? Now that it's a husband and wife title, not just fiance, fiance, not just boyfriend and girlfriend. This is now a more mature version of the good doc that you guys are likely see in the videos to come. I'm still going to talk my shit because I like to have my fun. But you guys know that when you're in a relationship and, you know, your significant other is, you know, somebody you would consider to be your partner and whatnot, you know, you kind of look at things a little bit different. Some people may say, doc, Maybe you're only feeling this because you're just in your honeymoon stage, right? You're in the early stages of your relationship. Uh, not quite. <laughs> uh, the early stages of my relationships was many, many moons ago, y'all. We've already lived together. We know what it's like to be around each other. This isn't something that we're not used to. We know each other's mannerisms. We know what pisses each other off. We know what annoys each other. Sometimes we do it on purpose. Sometimes we don't. But, you know, when you've been in a relationship for a long period of time, it seems for me that everything is just more or less a formality of sorts, right? This is nothing more than a formality. Putting a ring on that finger, giving her the last name is nothing more than a formality because in my mind, she's had it for a long period of time. Now, to all of my gentlemen who never want to get married, it's cool, I understand it. A lot of people don't see themselves wanting to just kick it in and stick with one woman for the rest of their lives. But I get it. Although I get it, though, I'm, I'm, just, on the, I'm just in a different mindset right now as we speak. Again, I can't sit there and say that as I age and as we get older that my mindset doesn't change again. I mean, that comes with, you know, maturity. That comes with, you know, life life experiences and developments and whatever you've done in your life to change your perspective on things, right? It does play a major part. And I've seen what life experiences have done to all of my fellow brethren out there. A lot of my guys who have been in relationships, who have been divorced, who who have seen the other side or the ugly side of their, you know, their, you know, their significant others and stuff like that. And I hear, you know, negativity about marriage and their voices and stuff like that. I get it. And I know where it's coming from, but it's not as if we can expect that all relationships are going to end the same. 
right? You kind of have that feeling, oh, man, in the West, man, anything goes, man. Of course, your relationship could end, like, blah, 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 blah. You know, it could end bad. Um, it could happen to anybody, any place, anywhere. But I do believe that, you know, what you pour into your relationship, you're going to get back out of it. So for me, I've kind of just kind of centered my focus on making sure that I get that bread, make sure that he takes care of those that kind of depend on him. And, you know, try my best to live my best life in the process. And it is possible to do all of those things. I do not believe that just because you're married that you have to sacrifice everything. I think a lot of people believe that when you you say I do, it's all about her and there's nothing in it and there's nothing else. For me, I kind of have a different perspective. You know, I can still do the things that I believe make me happy. She can still do the things that she believes make her happy. As long as it doesn't come in conflict with the relationship, I mean, it is what it is. Right. So, again, like I said, man, we can always deep dive into this conversation at a later time. If you guys have any comments, questions or concerns, leave it down in the comment section below. I wish that I could have brought you guys along, but the good doc has officially got his. I guess I'm tied down, bro. I guess that's what they'll tell you. Um, but yeah, man, it was a uh, it was a moment. We did it. We took care of it. We knocked it out. And now as a man, <laughs> you know, just looking forward to the future, man. And, you know, like I said, hopefully the videos will transition into something a little bit more inspiring, you know, and a little bit more on positive notes, right? None of that negative shit. But, you know, at the end of the day, the channel is still about being as honest and real with you guys as far as I'm concerned with my life perspective and experiences, whether it be through travel and now currently being a husband to the media. All right, this is Dr. Mike TV. All right, love you guys, man. I wish that I could have brought you guys along with me. I'm glad that uh, I can share the stories with you guys. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Has been fun. It has been real time for the good doctor to go and get to getting. With that being said, good doctor is officially out. At least Nako Ba'alam, which means I am going now. Uh, bye -bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Bye-bye. Peace.